Hi, Jürgen. Congratulations and well done tonight. And when you look at the performance, the results, a clean sheet, goals for two of the front three as well. Was that pretty much everything that yourself and the players needed tonight? Yeah, but um, the performance leaded to that. Huh? So the performance was very important. The, the, the level we played tonight was really good. Um, was necessary as well because Leipzig is a tough opponent. Um, and but we did really well. I have to say that's uh, really the defending wise it was good. Um, uh, last line. Two and a half, come on, did really well um, with the three up front. Of course, it helps when Fab um, can play the six, so it gives Chini the freedom in other in other areas. These kind of things. Thiago did well. Front three worked well together defensively first and foremost, but offensively then it worked out as well. So missed a couple of chances in the first half, big ones. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, but close the game in the second half and um, very good. I'm very happy for, for tonight, of course. Yeah, I was going to just ask you to just expand on the kind of platform as well that your centre-halves and Fabinho gave you, um, you know, Fabinho back in midfield. And, and is the hope now that you can keep him in that six role for the foreseeable future? Yes, that was my hope before the season and um, during the season, but it didn't didn't happen. So we have to see what what we what solutions we can find for the next few, for the next games for Wolves now first and foremost, um, and yeah, yeah. But of course, it's number six is his position. <laughs> it's one of the best in the world in that position. That's clear. Um, but it was not only from him now defending wise um, really good. He played some good stuff as well, and um, oh yeah, important of course for us. Thank you, Vinny. We'll go to John Murray from the BBC and then to Carl Markham from the Press Association. John. Jürgen, now you're into the, the last eight. Is, is it a ridiculous notion to talk about targeting the Champions League? It, it is kind of, but of course, as well not, because the only reason why you play in this competition is because you want to win it. Um, but we are not silly. Uh, we know that so far... This is not a season which looks like um, that we will, in the, will win the Champions League in the end. But that doesn't mean that we don't want to come as far as possible and then we will see what is possible for us. But now we have, we have to wait for the draw. Um, there, there will be uh, <laughs> extremely tough games for the, whoever we get. And um, so, yeah, no, we don't, really, we don't really think that far. We don't have to. Um, we think... Uh, about obviously from tomorrow on about Wolves um, and then I don't even know when the draw is to be honest um, but probably well, next week the others play only next week so we have to wait a little bit no problem um, and then we will know and we will prepare for that and we'll see how far we can go but could, but could you be very dangerous opponents because of that we are yeah of course we could be that but um uh, we, no, it's nothing. But really, I, I don't sit here now and want to create headlines about our Champions League performance and stuff like this. In the Champions League, we had kind of a momentum during that season, and in the in the Premier League, not yet. Um, but we have still enough games to 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 try to get that back and and win football games in the Premier League as well. And that would be helpful for the Champions League as well, definitely. Thanks, John. We'll go to um, Karl Markham, then Paul Joyce, and then uh, two of our um, German colleagues. I think Karl first. Hi, Jürgen. Hi, Carl. Hi. You, you've touched on it already, but uh, in terms of defence, but I just wanted you to talk about Nat Phillips' performance. That was his European debut, never mind his Champions League debut, but, but what, what a performance from him. He, he, he just sort of deserved that in a way. Oh, my God. What a boy he is, what a player he is, what a, um, what a night it is for him. Um, that's absolutely great. The concentration level he shows um, now... Meanwhile, nearly a week in, week out, since he's playing for us, it's absolutely incredible. He's doing exactly the right things in the right moment. He's in the era monster, but on the, you could see it today. His football is not bad, really good. Um, I couldn't be happier for for somebody than I'm for Nate in this moment because um, it was a great game, and uh, not a lot of people <laughs> um, get the, the honor to play a Champions League game. He has that now, and he played a really good one, and he won it, and he. Um, was qualified for the last eight in Europe. That's really special. A few years ago, nobody would have thought that, and I'm really happy that he can experience that now. Thank you. OK, Paul Joyce and then Javier and Michael to finish with. Uh, but Paul Joyce first. 
Jürgen, um, will it be easy to build momentum from this game? Or is that something you'll only know on Monday at Wolves? Oh, it, yeah, it, it, it will help. That's how it is. It will help, but we know that um, uh, Monday Wolves is a, is a different kind of game. But if we play as good as we played tonight, then it will be tough for Wolves. That's clear. But then we have to we have to score and we have to defend and um, we have to deny them and we have to break through um, on the other side and all these kind of things. So tonight we had, we played a really good first half, but we didn't score with really big chances. That's so. It's, it, the whole the game was <laughs> was little like a, a summary of our season. So um, you we are good. We create chances, but we don't finish them off often enough. But tonight, then we had a second half and used it there. That's all fine. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's it, it's much better than if we would have lost tonight and um, would have been out of the competition. That wouldn't have helped at all, but that can help, and we will see on Monday how much. Okay, final couple, Javier, and then Michael. Javier first. Hallo, guten Abend, herzlichen Glückwunsch. Ähm, ich wollte Sie fragen, äh, ob Sie vielleicht meine Eindrücke ergänzen können bezüglich Thiago. Ich hatte den Eindruck, dass er sehr wichtig war heute für die Statik Ihres Spiels, äh, gerade defensiv. Das wäre die eine Frage. Die andere Frage ist, haben Sie sich schon bei Joachim Löw dafür bedankt, dass er Ihnen die, den Vor Vorabend des Spiels, eines so wichtigen Spiels, zerschossen hat mit seiner Rücktrittsankündigung? <lacht> Da können wir mal zu einer Frage anfangen. Yogi muss sich, gibt es keinen Grund zu entschuldigen, Yogi darf seine Entscheidung treffen, wann immer er möchte. Ähm, und hat nichts zerschossen damit. Ähm, Thiago, ja, war, Thiago war gut, Thiago war wichtig, absolut. Alle waren, alle waren gut. So, als Nabi auf den Platz kam, das war auch richtig gut. Und natürlich hilft das. Sie haben immer gesagt, ich gehe mal davon aus, ich weiß das ja, wenn man von Deutschland drauf guckt und dann sieht man die Liverpool-Ergebnisse, seit Thiago da ist und so weiter, bringen wir das auch immer miteinander in Verbindung und verwechseln da irgendwas, das ist einfach Quatsch. Alle Spieler, die zu mir gekommen sind in den letzten Jahren, haben immer eine Zeit gebraucht, und die, um sich einfach an verschiedene Abläufe zu gewöhnen. Und die hatte Thiago einfach nicht. Aber logischerweise, Woche für Woche wird das besser und ist ja kein kurzzeitiges Projekt, das ist ja ein Langzeitprojekt ähm, und das wird alles gut und ist alles heute Abend war alles gut und es hat richtig gut gepasst und die Jungs haben sehr gut zusammengearbeitet, es war defensiv stabil, offensiv kreativ, hat für die ersten zwei, drei Bälle mit Mo, für Mo hat er hinten reingechippt und er war, hat eine riesen Chance gehabt, wo er leider einen Ball abspielt, <lacht> da hätte er glaube ich auch schießen können. Er hat ein tolles Spiel gemacht und war ganz wichtig heute. Okay, thank you. Final question, Michael, and that concludes our press conference. Hallo, Herr Klopp. Hallo. Äh, schönen guten Abend und äh, ja, herzlichen Glückwunsch zum Sieg. Ähm, Sie haben klar gemacht, dass Sie nicht zurück nach Deutschland kehren, aber ein Auge auf die Bundesliga werden Sie trotzdem haben. Da ist mit RB jetzt Ihr heutiger Gegner im Meisterrennen voll dabei. Welche Chancen äh, denken Sie, hat Leipzig dort und äh, wie sehen Sie es? Wer macht das Rennen? <lacht> Traditionell sieht es nach Hause, wird es Bayern dann doch machen, solange Lewandowski ähm, irgendwie trifft, fast schon wie er will. Ähm, aber Leipzig macht das super. Leipzig macht das super. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob sie noch gegeneinander spielen. Ich kenne auch den genauen Abstand nicht, um ehrlich zu sein. Aber ich glaube, sie sind schon entschlossen. Spielen noch gegeneinander? Zwei Punkte und das äh, Duell ist äh, im April in Leipzig. Ja, dann würde ich sagen, ist noch nicht entschieden. Ne? Das sieht ja so aus, als könnte es noch sehr, sehr spannend werden. Aber es ist, es ist eine ganz tolle Mannschaft. Ich habe das heute schon ein paar Mal gesagt, das wird Leute vergessen, das auch immer wieder. Die größte Leistung, die wir eigentlich gebracht haben, war, dass wir wirklich dafür gesorgt haben, dass fast niemand gesehen hat, wie gut Leipzig eigentlich sein kann, wie gut sie eigentlich sind. Das haben wir wirklich gut gemacht. Wir haben, die, die und wir haben wirklich aggressiv verteidigt, wir haben sie in richtigen Räumen verteidigt und dadurch sind sie nicht so richtig zum Zug gekommen, wie sie es eigentlich wollen. Ähm, und das hat uns geholfen. Und das ist extrem schwierig. Deswegen schafft es in der Bundesliga, schaffen sie auch so wenige. Ähm, und deshalb ist Leipzig einfach richtig stark und haben natürlich dann auch die Chance, Meister zu werden. Ja klar, das hat ja irgendwie nicht jeder, aber wenn man so nah dran ist, ähm, dann hat man sie natürlich. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.